Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology and this is a little video answering questions from a few viewers concerning the move from Windows 10 to Windows 11. There's been uh, quite a few questions with that so I assembled a list of questions that we're going to go through with uh, the answers. Um, first of all, a lot of you have said, okay, so I have and I went to the settings, I went to Windows Update, and I have that panel at the top that says, yep, you're ready to move on to Windows 11. Um, what do I expect from there? What's going to happen and how long this is going to take? Technically, uh, once you click there, it isn't that long for most users with a modern computer. If you have, especially if you have an SSD drive, a solid state drive, it's a question of not even an hour. Um, even less, and you're going to be moved to Windows 11. But of course, there are exceptions to the rules, and there are computers that are slower than others, and depending if you have a regular hard drive, you know, it could take some time. Think about it as being a big Windows 10 feature update, and expect to see the times from one of those big feature updates. And typically, you'll have an idea of how long it's going to take to move on. Now, once you have moved on, the other question that a lot of people are asking is, I can't go back, am I stuck? You can go back. You have 10 days. What you do is you go into your settings if you don't like it or if there's some glitch. You go into settings, you go into the Windows Update. In there, you will go into the Advanced Options. And here you will have recovery. And the recovery option, here you see it's grayed out for me because it's too long. You'll have the go back button that's going to be there for 10 days. That will revert you back to exactly what you were and how it was in Windows 10 when you moved to Windows 11. Do drivers update or are my drivers compatible? Um, so the fact that you see that Windows 11 is available for you means that what you're using is compatible according to Microsoft's own uh, AI. So their telemetry tells them, yeah, yeah, your PC is fine to upgrade. There's no problem there. And what you have is either you're going to have updated drivers that are Windows 11 specific or the Windows 10 drivers you have are already specific. You know, days of finding drivers online and complicated things like Windows XP and Windows, you know, even Windows 7 are pretty much over. Uh, most of the drivers are found and installed automatically for you. There's no real worry to have with that. It doesn't happen very often today that you absolutely need to go and fetch a driver specific for a device. Uh, Windows handles that quite well today. So this is kind of cool. It's really, you know, the real plug and play like we we uh, expected, expected it to be uh, back in Windows 98, for example. The uh, software that you use, will it be compatible? Once again, if a major piece of software is not compatible, if something is not right, what's going to happen is that you probably won't see the Windows 11 upgrade process offered to you. So, you know, there's a lot of information in the telemetry that tells Microsoft if yes or no, you're ready to go. The uh, other option, the other questions is, is Windows 11 much heavier than Windows 10 and it's going to be slow? It's actually the same, at least the same performance, um, if not faster. Uh, it's not more, it's not, a lot of people say, oh, well, it's bloated. It's not. It's not more. Uh, bloated than Windows 10. It's, it actually is pretty much pretty slim and pretty good. Uh, if your computer runs slow with it, there's something just not right. Maybe the upgrade process didn't go well, or maybe you have some you know drivers that aren't compatible that are creating problems with your computer. Uh, chances. <laughs> the question that I have here is, what are the chances of something going wrong going to Windows 11? Going from one version of Windows to another has always have um, a minimum of risks, um, and it is quite low. Most people upgrade without any problems. Uh, this is from any operating system, whatever operating system you're using, moving from one to the other. 
always has a minimum of risks. And, you know, you got to find that Windows works with billions of different configurations. It's quite amazing how it actually works well. Uh, app list. So am I going to be able to see something other than just that weird list of apps that are pinned and stuff like that? Yep. If you click all apps, you will see the apps and they'll be in first most used and then alphabetical order. All you have to do is go through and check out the apps in alphabetical order. One negative side of this is the fact that when you click the start button again, the list has disappeared. You'll always have to click the all apps button for this to stay. And this I hope Microsoft fixes and makes sure that it actually shows the way you want it. Another question, is there a way to have the start menu on the left? I don't mind the start menu the way it is, but I would like to have the start button on the bottom left. Definitely. Right clicking in the taskbar for the taskbar settings, you will have the option when you go here to taskbar behavior and you'll be able to align it left and your button going to be on the left like a standard Windows. Um, so that's pretty much all the questions I have and um, hopefully this might make you want to move to Windows 11. Uh, so hopefully it's going to go well. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.